Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing a Timu haul video with you because I think that you guys are really going to love this. You guys seem to love when I try new things and show you affordable things and also just like totally random stuff that is useful and cute. So that is what today's video is all about and Timu is actually sponsoring today's video so that's really exciting. I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard about Timu I was a little skeptical as I'm sure you guys are. It is very, very very affordable things but I will say once I went on their website I was sold they offer free returns a lot of times free shipping they also offer a guaranteed delivery date so if your stuff is delivered after the guaranteed delivery date you can actually get a five dollar gift card or refund or something like that and there are so many ways to pay you can pay with like Afterpay, Apple Pay, I think even Venmo so that's kind of nice to have those options and there are so many things on the website you could literally spend hours on here. I honestly did. So I have a huge haul video for you guys and we are really going to see what's worth it, what's not, what I would recommend to you guys. And it should be super fun. So if you are interested, keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and want me to do more Timu videos. Let me know in the comment section. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram. I also do have a code for you guys that you can use on the Timu website and the Timu app. So yeah, if you want to place an order, definitely be sure to use that code. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So this is just going to be totally random because like I said, I got a lot of random stuff. I got some stuff for babies, some clothes, a lot of house stuff, some accessories, and they actually sent me a lot of free gifts that I didn't even choose, which was really nice. So those are kind of fun little surprises. I love Timu, especially for like random little gadgets that you want to try out, but you don't want to spend a bunch of money on that like do not need to be that expensive. For example, a couple little gadgets that I picked up. This one is a toothpaste toothpaste squeezer. You put this on your tube of toothpaste and it'll squeeze every last drop out of it. I've wanted to get one of these for a long time, but they're always like just too expensive to even care about getting, but not on Timu because it was less than a dollar. Same thing with these. I always thought these were so interesting, but I never bothered to pick them up, but these are supposed to create volume in your hair. So basically you just kind of like stick them on your hair like this and you would just leave them there for a little bit. And then when you are ready to go out. You take them off and it is supposed to give your hair a lot of last minute quick volume. So I'm like unnecessarily excited about these. Yeah, so cheap. It's insane. And it came with a three pack. This is a sunglasses organizer for travel. I had one. Our basement recently flooded and mine got ruined. So I thought it was a great time to pick another one up. And this one actually holds five pairs of sunglasses. You just stick them right in there and then fold it up, button it, and you can stick it in your suitcase for super easy or organized travel. Speaking of sunglasses, I also got a pair of sunglasses on Timu. You guys who watch my videos, you know I could not do this order without getting at least one pair of sunglasses, especially because they are so affordable. It's insane. I think these were $3, but they are so trendy. I just love the way they look. They're just black, but on the side, they have like this very designer inspired look. So I am totally into these. Definitely going to be wearing these nonstop. They are lightweight. They feel really good on my face. I feel like they fit my face shape really well. Here is that side view if you couldn't see it when they were on. And with this case, you just literally stick the sunglasses right in there. They fit perfectly and fold it up. And that is perfect. And I love the pink color, but it does come in other colors. A lot of these things actually come in several colors. So anything that I'm showing today, if you would be interested in it in another color, definitely just click the link in the description box. And I'm sure there will be other options. Next, we have a sweater. This is something that I picked up in hopes to wear it around Valentine's Day. I loved this. I think it's so cute with the pink little hearts. And you know, the main thing that I loved about it is all of the little pearl details surrounding the hearts. And it's only some of the hearts, but I think this is like really adorable. Not sure how I'm going to style it. Maybe even just like tucked in to like a white tulle skirt or kind of loose over some leggings or tucked into some jeans. We will see, but I loved it. And it's especially clothes. I was very nervous from Timu because I feel like a lot of websites like this can really be off when it comes to sizing. But I will say I haven't tried anything on yet. I definitely will and I'll insert some pictures for this video, but everything seems very true to size. I also got this Taylor Swift mug. I could not resist. This is precious. It just has the book design with all of her albums or eras on it and it says Swifty. So, so cute and it's pink on the inside. Another clothing piece 
piece is a cardigan that I also thought would be cute around this time of year. But honestly, even into spring, this is going to be great. It honestly kind of reminds me of the sweater I'm wearing today. But this one is a cardigan. So it's just a hot pink cardigan, but it has these cute little stripes on the sleeves here. And once again, this does seem like oversized, exactly how I wanted it to be. So I'm very thrilled with this too. And this is just going to be perfect with some mom jeans and a white bodysuit. That is like the perfect casual outfit. And it's nice and chunky and warm. Then we have this little paisley button up shirt, which I do really like. I'll have to try this one on and see how I like it. I got this in an extra large. It definitely seems like it'll fit. I'm not sure how oversized it'll be, but I think this would even be good to wear to work, honestly, tucked into a nice pair of like cream colored trousers and some nice loafers. That would be such a pretty outfit. And I just really liked the print on it for spring. I think that is so fun and vibrant. These are some cute little slippers with the pink knit bow. These are just so girly and feminine. I will say they are very, very thin. These are not the kind of slippers that you're going to go wear outside and they are very narrow. So if you have a wide foot, these might not be best for you either because this part right here, very narrow, but I like them. They fit me fine and I just think they are nice little cute slippers. I'm the kind of person that wants to match my slippers to my loungewear or my pajamas. So I love having just like super affordable slippers. I can collect a bunch of and match them for every occasion. Okay, this is a hair towel. Every single time that I wash my hair, I use one of those like towel turby thingies. It's like a towel material, but you wrap your hair up in it and then secure it with an elastic in the back. And I saw this one on Timu and I thought it would be nice, but I will say I did not realize it's literally just like a rectangle piece of fabric. So you do have to wrap this one yourself, which I'm not super confident in. I'm going to give it a try, but if I don't like it, I can return it. So that's always good. But yeah, you would just put your head like that, wrap it up. And then it does have this elastic piece here. So you would just stick the excess down in there. And that is supposed to keep it nice and secure on your head. I was expecting it to be one that is already shaped for your hair. If you've ever used one of these, you know what I mean, I'm sure. But yeah, I'll have to play around with it and see if it works for me. Okay, this next thing I am so excited about, and that is a rhinestone 40 ounce tumbler. Are we kidding? Like I am obsessed with this. I think it was like $20 at the most. Listen, you guys, I'm not saying this is going to be the most high quality thing ever. If I'm being honest, it definitely smells a little chemically. And like down here at the bottom, I can feel a little bit of the glue, not too much, but not really when I'm just holding it like this. So that's good. But I don't even care. Like I just love the look of this. It is so gorgeous. Like even more so in person, it is just so glittery, so beautiful. It was $20. Like I am here for it. I already have a couple tumblers, so I'm always like switching them out. It's not like I need it to be the most high quality thing in the world. The inside is an insulated tumbler, has a nice handle on it, comes with a straw, of course, and it's just perfect. And this is another thing that comes in a bunch of other colors. And to go on my 40 ounce tumblers, I got this little two pack of charms. These were definitely under a dollar, but they just have your initial on them and it comes with two two of them in two different colors. So I got this one with a pink one and a white one and you would just attach it right here on your cup. And I just thought that was so cute. Next, let's talk about a few things that I got for my daughter. They have the cutest kids clothes. So first I got this little Valentine's Day sweatshirt that says be mine. It is precious. It is just like this varsity patch design. So this is like a nice terry cloth kind of material on the design. And this looks like it'll fit her perfectly. It is like the perfect oversized little crew neck, plain on the back but super stretchy and soft and then I got her this little jacket that is iridescent she does not have any lightweight little rain jackets like this so I thought it would be perfect for like those late winter early spring days and nights but this is just so pretty I'm obsessed it does have a hood on it and then I got her this amazing butterfly print bamboo sleeper this looks exactly like some of the super high-end sleepers I would buy such nice material like it's very stretchy very soft and it even has a two-way zipper on it so it has a zipper up here and a zipper at the bottom that makes for easy diaper changes and it has the fold over footies and the fold over hand covers so I will absolutely be going back ordering a couple more of these because you can never have enough sleepers and this one is amazing I just love that butterfly print and then I got her a pair of shoes which I opened these up and I was just like I cannot wait to 
to see her in these. These are so freaking cute. And I was really impressed with the quality of them. They remind me of like little baby designer shoes. My husband is like obsessed with shoes my daughter wears and he just loves when she wears little sneakers like this. So he is going to love these. But yeah, the sizing is definitely accurate. These look like they are going to fit perfect. And they have the little star here, the little glitter on the toe. Perfect little laces. I did not even realize that, but they're Velcro, which of course just makes toddler shoes so much easier. So yeah, you just slip their foot in there and then it looks like laces, but it's just Velcro. Like, I'm seriously obsessed. And especially kids' clothes and shoes, it's not anything that I want to spend a ton of money on because they do grow out of them so quickly. But you do want a few cute pieces, especially if you're like me and you're into fashion and dressing your kids up really cute. Emu is a great place to be able to do that very, very affordably. I actually got myself a pair of shoes as well. These are just a pair of brown sandals, but they have like this glittery rhinestone detail on the straps here I've already tried them on they fit true to size and they're really comfortable The straps aren't too tight at all. Once again, these are a little bit more sparkly in person But yeah, super cute shoes that I think will go with anything and just add like a little bit of flair to your outfit Another sweater that I got this one. I'm not sure about I'll have to try it on I think it's gonna look better once I like unbutton a couple of these But yeah, it just has like the ruffle collar detail up here once again, this is like very true to size, if not even a little oversized, to be honest. But it is a chunkier knit sweater. It has the ruffle like halfway down and the pearl buttons. It is a full length sweater and it has the ruffle detail on the sleeves here too. But I love a good white sweater like this with some fun details that I can pair with any colorful bottoms. This I'm not so sure about, but I'm excited to try it on. It is actually kind of like an oversized shirt dress. Once again, it looks true to size. So that's good news, but it has a strong collar detail, some pockets here. I love the look of it, just as far as the white color with the really, really, really thin pinstripes, long sleeves, of course. And as I mentioned, it is just very long. So my plan for this is to put it on and try to belt it in some way, pair it with like some booties or heels. And I think that would be a really cute, trendy and fashionable spring look. I also have this satin looking skirt. And this is like one of the only things that I'm really not so sure about. It could be cute, but it could be awful. I'm mostly concerned about the color and that is my fault because it looked this exact same color online. It really did. But I don't know why. I was just like, oh, in person it might be a little bit more beige, but no. It's very kind of like a duller beige or honestly like a gray beige and that's not exactly what I was looking for, but we will see. I might have some things that I could pair with this and if so, I will keep it. If not, I will return it. But yeah, it's just like a simple skirt. has a zipper on the side and it flares out into a pretty flowy bottom. I do believe this is a midi skirt. Let's talk about a couple of household things. This next piece is one thing that I was very excited to receive and it's actually still in its packaging. So I'm gonna take it out and then it has a protective film on it. So let's remove that. Perfect. So this is a clear cutting board. So I'm sure you guys have seen these if you are on social media a lot, but it just has like an edge right here. And the idea is that you put it on your countertop just like that and it's supposed to remain there and be used as a cutting board that blends in with your counter space so it doesn't look like you have anything out but you always do and it just makes cooking and chopping things up a breeze because it's already there and it looks really nice and aesthetic as well so I'm very excited about this and this came in a ton of different sizes I will put which size I got in the description box I wanted to get a medium sized one nothing too crazy big because our counters aren't super big but I love that they have the option to choose what is going to work best for you. Very random, but I just thought this was a cute little decor piece that I can put down in my studio. It's like a mirrored number seven. Number seven is my favorite number, my lucky number. And I just love anything mirrored to look like a disco ball. It does only have the mirror effect on the front, but this was like super affordable. So I don't care that much. These are super cool. They are like little fruit cutters. So if you are on TikTok and you've seen the moms like doing crazy things for their kids' lunches, a lot of them use little stuff like this. So for example, here is the star one. So you can just cut your fruit into the shape of little stars. So you have slightly bigger ones, smaller ones, and just like little cute shapes. This one is like a little Mickey Mouse shape, or maybe it's like a bear with the little ears, flowers, little fruit. I think this one is like a fish. Not sure what this is. It looks kind of like a pumpkin or like a mushroom. We have a heart, of course, a little bunny rabbit, and like another little flower. So I thought those were super cute for when I start making
making Ella more serious lunches, if you will. Another very random thing, but this is a security stamp. I wanted one of these for when I'm filming unboxings and stuff. I can use this to mark out my address. But yeah, you would just like do like that and it uses ink to mark it out. So that'll be useful. Not for everybody, but for me when I'm filming, it definitely will be. And these that I just marked on are actually Swiffer duster covers, which is really cool because the actual Swiffer brand is very expensive and you can get these on Timu for a lot more affordable. I will say they're a little smaller, but still, if you use a new one every single time, which I usually do, that can add up. So even just having these little ones is a great deal and it came with 10 of them. You can also get stuff like this for your Swiffer mop. So that is like a life hack there. All right, let's finish up the clothing pieces. I have this dress here, another one in a really cute print. I actually think I'm going to love this. So it's just a long sleeve dress. It's pretty thin, so it's lightweight and it does have a little bit more material at the bottom. So it's very flowy and it just buttons up and it has a collar detail. And then it came with this little string to use as a belt. This just looked so cute on the model and I wear stuff like this all the time in the spring. I feel like this is a very great mom appropriate dress that is still adorable and I have a lot of shoes that this would look really great with so I'm excited about that one. I'm actually really excited about all three of these remaining pieces. This one kind of reminds me of like a free people look alike. How pretty is that? It's just lace. It's a V neckline. You have these really pretty flowy sleeves. The waistline here is completely elastic which is amazing. It has buttons and then it goes into like a nice flowy skirt and this one does have a lining which is amazing and it has two strings in the back that you can use to tie it up and make sure it's not falling off your shoulders. This just looks so nice. Like I was very impressed when I got this out of the package. I cannot wait to try this on once I get done filming. And then the last clothing piece that I got is actually a swimsuit. So here's what it looks like. It has pretty large cuffs which is a nice sign because that is what I'm always worried about. It has two little spaghetti straps here and it's just in this like I don't even know what you would call this print. It's almost like a French looking blue and white painting print or something. But I loved this and it has like the corset look in the front. It is a one piece swimsuit of course but it also came with this little cover up tie around. So you just wear this around your waist with the swimsuit and it is like a great little matching set. Once again this looked great on the model and I was intrigued. So I had to pick it up for myself and I just love stuff like this. So hopefully it looks good. I also picked up several jewelry pieces which are so inexpensive. It's crazy. This first one I'm probably gonna wear all the time. It's like a really teeny tiny dainty tennis bracelet but it is adjustable which is what I liked about it. But yeah I'm just gonna slip this one on now. Looks so good. These are like really popular right now and I just love how dainty it looks. More bracelets. I just got a pack of these stretchy gold bracelets. I wear these constantly so it's always nice to do a little refresh on them. And then the last jewelry piece is a pair of earrings. I loved the shape of these and I'm constantly wearing chunky gold earrings like this. So I thought these were perfect. And now we will get into some more gadget home stuff. This is incredibly random, but I did get this banana saver. Our daughter loves bananas, like loves them, has since she very first started eating. And we're constantly taking them in our diaper bag and they can get very mushy. So I thought this was a nice thing to have on hand. These are so random and I'm going to see if they work but you are supposed to like put them over your hairbrush it's just a net like this but you put them over your hairbrush and they are supposed to make cleaning your hairbrush a lot easier because once it is time to clean your hairbrush you literally just like remove this I think that's how it works but I literally got like a pack of 100 so I will have to test these out and keep you guys updated another little gadget related to hair is this little scalp oil dispenser I'm constantly using scalp treatments so I thought this would be great. You just put the oil inside at the top and then these little divots will dispense it just by you pushing this button. So yeah you would just like put it on your scalp just like that and release the oil. I don't know. I think it was under a dollar so why the heck not? I also got a coffee mug warmer because I am drinking a lot more coffee these days just like regular coffee from a coffee pot and my husband is always like oh my gosh you do not drink your coffee. It takes you forever to drink your coffee. It's always cold and a lot of my mugs are not microwave friendly so I decided I just need to get one of these little coffee mug warmers that you plug in via USB and it'll heat up your mug and I can set it right here where I usually sit and work on my laptop and I think this will be perfect and it's just a cute little white and gold 
cool design. This is a batter dispenser. I got this because I love baking and I thought it would be really nice to have for putting the batter in your cupcake liners. But my husband also makes us breakfast a lot and especially now having a daughter, I'm sure we will do family breakfast and all of that. So he's excited to use this for pancakes. It has some like measurement lines. But of course the main thing is that it just has this little lever here. So you fill it with batter and then you squeeze this and it only lets a little bit of batter out at a time. This here I believe is a mug. I just feel like I can't have enough mugs. I will say I thought this was a gold handle. It's more like a brown. So I'm not sure about this but it is still cute. I really like the rib design and how it gets a little bit more narrow at the top. Another home item is this little storage container that I thought would be great for prepping Ella's meals that she eats. It just has a clear lid and these handles that you can pop open on each side. And then inside it has these four little containers that you can actually remove if you want to. So you could either use it as like one big storage dish or you could just add two of them in. It really just depends. But like I said, for my daughter, she's currently eating a lot of like chopped up fruits and veggies. So yeah, I thought this would be great for storing her stuff. And this is like really nice quality. So I'm excited about this. And you can actually get multiple and like stack them on top of each other. I did get this little shelf for our bathroom. And then you're supposed to hang this underneath it to hold any bathroom towels or whatever. But my husband says he's not sure if it'll match our bathroom. And now I'm kind of second guessing it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or return it. And I had gotten this little toilet paper roll holder that has like a little acrylic ribbed shelf on top and then the holder underneath. But these two aren't even the same gold. So yeah, I don't think that's going to work out. And then the last thing that I ordered, and then I will show you guys the gifts that they sent is a sheet organizer. Once again, I had purchased a couple of these, but they got ruined in our basement flood. And I love having stuff like this. And actually I wish I would have purchased them from Timu from the get go because they are so much cheaper. The ones that I got from another retailer were like 60 bucks for two of them, which is kind of ridiculous when you consider what it is. But yeah, I think this was like $13, but you just fold your sheets up in the center, fold these two pieces together and zip them up. And then you just fold these two pieces, attach it to the Velcro and bam, you have a little sheets organizer. And I love that this one has a see-through panel so you can actually see which sheets are inside. My other one did not have that and it does have a handle and a little label so you can mark what size it is or what bedroom these sheets belong to. So I will probably be purchasing more of these and I love the beige color as well. So now for the little surprise gifts that they threw in my order, obviously because we're working together. So first is a men's wallet. Obviously I don't have a use for this, so I will give it to my husband or some man in my life who could use it. This I'm excited about. It is an electric iron and I actually just saw someone talking about one of these today. I love the color of it. It's just miniature. You plug it in and you can easily iron your clothes. This is great for travel and this actually turns both ways. So depending on how you need to iron. Perfect. So that I'm actually very excited about. This is kind of interesting, but it's another thing that will be great for travel. It's a three in one wireless charger, but it's foldable. So I have AirPods and an iPhone. I don't have an Apple watch currently, so I won't be able to use that. But yeah, this just like folds down completely. And then when you need to use it, you just pop this stand up and bam, you have a place to wirelessly charge your iPhone, your Apple watch and your AirPods. This is a little truth or dare game for couples. It's really, really miniature, but I wonder what some of the truth and dare questions are. I have a feeling these are going to get a little risque though. Truth, which world leader do you think is attractive and why? Dare, give me an Eskimo kiss. How long can we hold it for before it turns into a regular kiss? Truth, what do you wish we did more of in bed? And dare, give me a three minute massage. What do you think is the least sexy part of your body and the most? Dare, take a children's nursery rhyme. Mary had a little lamb and turn it into a naughty rhyme. Kind of cute. They sent this random garlic container. We don't buy a whole lot of fresh garlic, so I might give this to someone who does. This clear beach tote, which I actually do really like. You guys know I love these little patch bags and this will be perfect for the beach and vacation. So excited about that. And I'm also excited about this. It's just like a little purse, but it is like a silver sparkly purse and one that just has like this cute little handle. Very, very trendy, but but I will definitely use that. And I think that is everything for this Timu haul video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite piece was that I shared today and definitely check out all of these products using the links in the description box. While you're down there, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to do 
more Timu haul videos. And let me know what category you want to see more of. Home, kids stuff, clothing. What do you want? But yeah, thanks again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. And thank you to all of you guys for watching and supporting my channel. It was so much fun. And I hope that I see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Bye!